All right, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Tyro Fowler, back again with another video. And obviously, as you can see, this is a Q&A right here in your face, man. Y'all sent me questions, and I got all the answers. Well, not all of them, but I can kind of help you guys out a little bit, all right? So, first question comes from Hattrick333. He says, is there any sports teams on base? Yes, here on Barksdale, we have plenty of sports teams. Ultimate uh, Frisbee, flag football, basketball starting soon, uh, and we have soccer and a few other sports that I don't really care for. So if you're interested in any of those, man, just come and sign up. I think for the base team, you have to try out or something like that, but like for the base team, not everyone makes it pretty much, so, but the intramural stuff, like the club sports and things like that, you can definitely get into, man, so yeah, bring your A game, I guess. Next question comes from Blah Snot, however you pronounce that. Um, there any ball rec leads or some shit like that? <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. I just wanted to read it. It was funny. All right, next question comes from Garrett Pounds. Any advice for people who are nervous about talking to a recruiter? Just be truthful. If you're nervous, that means you're hiding something, bro. Just be truthful. If you broke your leg when you were seven, tell her you broke your leg when you were seven. If you smoke weed before you before signing that sheet, tell her you smoke. Like, don't be freaking nervous just tell the truth bro i promise you next question comes from kid 23 did you get to go to where you chose on your dream sheet um technically yes and technically no i i honestly i was so happy that i even got in like i didn't care where they sent me as long as i didn't go overseas like i didn't want to be that far away from home because the uh, plane tickets are really expensive so, so when i got my dream sheet i literally just put random states that i was just interested in i had like Florida, California, um, Louisiana, I don't know why I put Barksdale on there. Louisiana, um, I chose Texas, you know, states like that because I just wanted to go somewhere that I've never gone before. I didn't want to go overseas. So. Well, not yet. So, yeah. I guess, yes, I did get my base to technically answer your question. All right. All right. What up, bro? Come say what up. I'm making a video. I saw that. On the this is my roommate. You knew I was up here? Dude, yeah. How do you know? What's good? You knew exactly where this wall was. Dude, I saw the table and I was like, yeah, that's a new table. This is the only place with a new table, bro. Oh, fuck. Well, you about to cook something? Nah, I'm about to go to the tanning bed. The tanning? There's a tanning bed on base? No, nah, I'll throw it off base. Oh, uh, well, there's a tanning bed uh, off base if you guys are interested in tanning. Because my guy is here. Alright, bro, I'll see you. Alright, see you. Alright, next question comes from Owl Man. Damn, my lips is chapped. Whoa! These braces, man, I ain't no joke. Next question comes from our man. What age did you get into the Air Force at? Also, how long did you wait for your waiver? Now, if y'all know, back in the day when I was waiting for that waiver, man, if, you, if you're a real subscriber, then you know back in the day when I was waiting for that waiver, struggling. Um, I joined at age 22. I'm 23 now. I joined at age 22, um, and I waited like six or seven, I don't want to say, five or six months for my waiver on my shoulder. If you don't remember that time, man, scroll down and look at that video, man. It was crazy. You're not going to get your waiver like right away. It's going to take some time, so just be patient and have some faith, all right? Next question comes from Child of God. Did you know anyone who joined without a driver's license? Um, I do actually. There's people here without driver's license. Believe it or not, but there is. So yeah. All right, next question comes from David Hernandez. And he says, can you get Invisalign in the Air Force? I have no idea, man. I don't even, I've never seen anyone here with Invisalign uh, braces. I know for sure, but yeah, I've never seen Invisalign, but you can get braces. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, bro. All right, next question comes from 22 The Success. I like that name, bro. Congratulations, bro. How difficult was PT? Well, I'll explain it in tech school. PT in tech school, I hated it because we had to wake up at 4 a.m. and it was just awful. But it wasn't every day. It was, I think it was like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or something like that. And we had to wake up every morning at 4 a.m. Well, we had to be outside. Was it 4.30? It was 4.30. We had to be we have to wake up at 4 a.m. and be outside at 4.30, information and all that stuff. I mean, it, it's, as far as PT goes, I've never really struggled with PT. Um, 
it's always been like fun for me because I've always you know, I, like I worked out a lot before I joined the Air Force or anything. So PT was just always fun for me. Um, yes, some days I hated it. Running, I wasn't extraordinary at it, but I also you know I didn't struggle with it much. ESJ Gaming. Also, is it best we get our driver's license or some form of ID before we ship? Yes, that's a big yes to that one. I know I had to give my recruiter my ID, my birth certificate, and things like that. So get your ID, get your driver's license, any form of ID, whatever it is, get it before you ship, please. Zag PC, he says, what is considered active duty when you finish BMT, finish tech school, or when you ship out to BMT? Hmm. When you finish, I would say once you finish tech school, you're technically active duty because when you're in basic training, you know, that's training. When you're in tech school, that's still technically training. Once you finish tech school and you get to your first base, you're active. Like you're considered active duty. You're, you're eligible to be deployed. You're active duty now. All right. All right, guys. So that was it. Thank you all for these questions, man. I really do appreciate it. Be on the lookout for more videos. I really hope these answers help you guys. If not, feel free to hit me up on Snapchat right here. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Tywin Fowler again, signing out. Comment, like, subscribe. Y'all know the deal.